everybody. Hey, hey, everybody what's say, up? What's up? Scream. What's up? What's up? Hey, what's up? What's up? Hey. Uh, uh, hey. Uh. We are feeling absolutely amazing, and I hope you guys at home is feeling amazing too because XA is on your TV screens and be taking you all the way to 5 p.m., baby. That's right. We are live in Cape Town. See you guys, man. Of course. The boys are in the house. Of course. That's how we do it. The boys are in the house. They know what to do. They know your mom, your pa, your opa, your oma, your adopted cousins. We're all your adopted neighbors. Everyone, tell them the biggest show in Zanzi is here. We're here to entertain you and educate you till 5 p.m. And man, do we have lots coming on today's show. Oh, yeah, definitely. But we will start off with... We're starting off with Big Fun. They are here. They're here to tell us more about the upcoming single and also here to speak about the music as well and how their journey has been. And also, we're checking out a cool local South African made film called Matuetu and it's actually executively produced um, by the one and only DJ Black Coffee. So it's going to be a bit spicy. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, definitely. It does not end there. We also have Chris Soul today, who is the PPC Imaginarium winner. We mm-hmm. also will be following. Or Abby, who went to wherever she went to go view um, the Skin Deep mm-hmm. um, exhibition with Usei Say, a jam packed, a very fun show. You do not want to go anywhere. Of course, it will need and scanny, and that's not all that we have. We're also going to sit down with the first community program, and they're here to tell us about the ceasefire program that they're actually having um, and how they tackle, you know, violence and abuse in the community. Tammy and Craven is here to tell us all about things, and they all the way from Hanover Park. Shout out HP, HP, oh, HP. All, of course, we have the music videos for you. Keep you jiving till 5 of p.m. Course. And of see course. ya. Like Enlik Skinner, he'll be giving us all of the trending news of what has been happening in and around Mzanzi as well. I can't wait for that. You uh, you must like scanning, so you... I am definitely in there. But do not forget, however, to vote for this face if you want to see it again next week. Of Hashtag course. Hashtag, except my vote is see on the corner. Of course. Yes. And he needs to pay me as well because I know he's been paying a lot of huh? guys. You... <laughs> Listen, man. Let's get straight into trending. Sia has everything for you. Let's go. I go screw. We are back at it with the trending news. Umko si endi nawa awuchisi bad. All right. First up, we have Kuprix, who is serving serving time as a, as an ex- uh, as a sexual assault is old news. He has resurfaced, um, however, and is trending after a tweet from DJ Cleo showed support of his friend. DJ Cleo said, "We run." all our races and we all run our own races he fell along the way but the race is not over after the tweet boyty involved himself and now they are both receiving backlash as this topic has mixed emotions on who is right and unfortunately i kind of do agree and i kind of can see the whole shebang bang because you're racist but i didn't say that he did that Onto your second trending news, the ANC and EFF are in a position to be successful and well known for the upcoming elections. Jojo man, these um, two groups have both received public pressure in regards to corruption, yet they are both likely to be the party on either side of a political battle. Meanwhile, the DA is barely hanging and staying relevant in the conversation. But as otherwise, let's go to on to our third trending news, which is Idols SA. 2017 winner Paxton will be the opening act for Tamiya. Um, Tamiya's concert in Greenpoint. Paxton had already bought a ticket and planned on attending the concert before she was asked to be the opening act. Paxton is prepared to be a fangirl when she meets Tamiya before the concert this week on the 23rd of February. Jonga, Southern Deep Hanam, Nam Tuna, Uyo Fan Gela, Fan Boya, Zongis, Dile, Nesenjua. I mean, and look at how things work. I went to go buy a ticket and then they ask me to go sing. Oh, I'm not the guy. Paxton, I don't blame you, my babe. 
Brian goes saying, do best. All right, that is all, however, on the trending news. And I still have a lot of time to spend with you. Um, I Okay, let's go to XA, okay, Facebook. You have to follow us on Facebook, um, XA on Cape Town TV. Do me a favor on that Facebook. Go hashtag XA, my vote is C underground. Uh, on Twitter, we are XA underscore live. Do follow us there as well. And join in the conversation. All right, as I wrap up, and my mouth is dry, let's take it away. There we go, that is it um, for E Edbreaks. As we promised you, Ella, on the show, I'm your corner gay, E Big Fun Music, um, as well as Um Wizzy. Um, you know them from long ago. Four years ago when you came to Exa, I don't know, mm. but they did a lot of amazing things like they did first Unak music, uh, Loop Street, was it Long Street or Loop Street? Mm. Uh, yeah, in the Zinjalo, and now they're busy with another project and here they are to promote um, their new single. We've got trendy DJ Lapiro, um, Ayapro, as well as um, Wheezy. Welcome to it, everybody. It's the biggest, the baddest, and the most hip and happening show in town. Follow us on Twitter, it's XA underscore live. On Facebook, it's XA on Cape Town TV. Happy Tuesday. Of course, man. Happy Tuesday. Now we're going to dive straight into it. And for the newbies at home watching like me and haven't seen you guys four years ago on the show, just take us real quick through the musical journey where it all started and... Yeah, man, how is it? How's the road been? Has it been rocky, smooth roads, potholes? I know the government promised things and they <laughs> tell us about it. It's a good thing we never put our faith in them. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. But otherwise, no, man. Big fun music. Um, previously, um, actually, when it all started out, it's known as Soul Solutions. Okay. For those who don't know us out there. Um, and then, you know, 13 members at first. But with dreams and visions, there comes work. Some people don't want to work. Of know? course. So yeah, they fell by the wayside. And here we are today, three of us. And, um, and we're still pushing hard. So we got a, s a new song out currently, Lana Ziawa, featuring okay. Marezi, the vocalist. And um, yeah, things are going really good. Of you course. might have 13 members first. At first, members when we were still like, Soul Solution. What is that? Um, you know, yeah. we, were, we were all <laughs> DJing actually. Yeah. And some people had a business side of it, of and of administration everything. and all of that, which is still something we're doing, but now it's just the, it's three, just of the three of us. Okay, awesome. Just the three of us. <laughs> hey, I understand that um, some of your music, Yadala AUK, what has that done for your career? Um, I think it, it more, more, more than in the Bayer career, it, mm. it motivates us when you, it motivates you as an artist when your music is being played yeah. abroad because sometimes it's difficult when people don't accept you from where you are yes and then when you find people online like that dj that you speak of dj fiddler he's from uk he found us we didn't look for him he found us and then we dropped our music outside and then from there on it's just kept on asking for more music and more music so it really motivates us to do more i think also angola we had some a couple of people from angola also coming through wow. saying not like the music and whatever so it's really good does yeah. does that motivate you guys as as artists in terms of the music is being played abroad as well or what, what keeps you guys motivated and putting good music out there and just keep on going man totally i think like from from our perspective i mean when you when you do music you obviously want it to reach as far as of possible. course you know what i mean that's i think every artist dream for for your music to be played anywhere in the world yeah and i think so far we we're a step in, you know. I mean, it's not there yet, but you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a good start. Of course. So we're in the right direction, and we're happy about it, man. So hopefully, we can be on billboards and hey. that type of type of wave. You know what I mean? So that's, <laughs> of that's course, the dream, man. man. Yeah, of yeah. Course. Just, just to add to what Lapiro is saying, for us, motivation is not like a, a, a big factor because it's love first. Yeah. Mm. So when there's love, you will always find the motivation. Yeah. You know. Sometimes I'm sick of music and I'm like, I don't want to do it. You know, you just want to be away, watch your series or yeah. do something mm -hmm. else. Yeah. But it's going to come back automatically. It, keeps coming it back. just keeps coming yeah, back. I love that. Yeah. So, so in wrapping up that, we, we, we're inspired by life. Yeah. That's, that's our motivation. Okay. So whatever happens that day, that boom. 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 That's the song. Next thing. I love yeah. it. <laughs> Wazi, um, Kumbula, you are featured with DJ Harris and we are from Yaki. And then, big fan. What a one! What 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 made you say yes to these guys? <laughs> what a one! Well, 
we don't tell you we're a big fan what motivated that decision uh what motivated that decision is that uh they i've listened to their songs so i liked what i get so mm-hmm. that's why i decided to to jump in when they came in okay and then when i uh so we say na bantu banjengo kings of the weekend you yeah. shared stages with all black coffee and stuff like that is there anything that you guys haven't done that we still yet to reach yo we have so much to do uh we want to host event that events that big we mm-hmm. still want to work with a lot of artists from south africa and abroad um there's a lot of things we have to do like uh events yeah. like festivals we mm-hmm. need to do festivals and all of that yeah hosted by us because we want to do stuff Well, yeah. Okay. yeah and and yeah. how how challenging is that actually for an artist because i know as an artist you always set goals for yourself in terms of saying look this year this is what i want to achieve and things like that but how challenging is that actually in reality it, it, it is because so not, not everything you know sometimes you plan yeah but things don't go according to your plan yeah. so you got to be able to adjust and i think a blessing for us is what what we said earlier on with what i said is that we've been managing like our business yeah the business side of of our business yeah. by ourselves for quite a long time so like at this stage right now we want to do other things and like right now we know you, you know to be an artist you can't just be an artist you exactly. can be so much more and exactly. the game allows you to do that yeah. at this stage you know back in the day it was very difficult people was like one night yeah. you were a singer you must be a singer <laughs> just sing we won't accept you if you're politician yeah. thing like that yeah. so right now we want we want to be a young businessman you know what i mean we want to be into fashion you know yeah. what i mean because our company is not just about music is we want to do events yeah. we want to you know, do planning yeah. all, all sorts of things it's kind of a lifestyle you yeah, think about it yeah exactly exactly an empire <laughs> yes an empire. trendy in the vela western cape but ni kelele ezinye i provinces la gauteng bunye in bomalanga correct yeah we've been um, to bomalanga not every other cape townian can brag about those accolades um what is that winning formula in the yenza yonge as a big fan what are you doing right to be honest i i honestly i cannot pinpoint and say this is what we're doing right or anything because for us most of the time we just keep working yeah mm. and things sort of fall into place at some point and then with our work ethic we push it further you know so things like i are being based in joburg for example yeah. makes makes life so much easier in some aspects for us mm. and it also makes life very different difficult in in some aspects but for us to be able to break into other provinces is the fact that even in Cape Town we don't all come from the same hood yeah. we come from scattered hoods yeah. so which means we breed different mindsets yeah. on ourselves or by ourselves you understand so when we go out there you actually gel with people from different spaces you yeah. know so i'm the one who's now coming with somebody who's maybe from mbumalanga yeah. and then i come with somebody maybe who's from durban or lapiro a guy who's from eastern cape yeah. Yeah. and with that it allows us to basically spread our wings further you know and, and, and how and important make. is that that networking factor as well yo it's it's crucial my man if you are in the entertainment business and you are not networking stay at home hey inevitably you're killing the process of growth yeah. that's growth Clean in just in, in time and so okay where's the how was the process you okay telling i'm going to perform and i'm sure we slept the whole day <laughs> <laughs> i love the on the scene speak for yourself uh, my brother <laughs> it was not even that hard because we just uh <laughs> we just sitting in studio then uh, we are recording another track so yeah. they gave me the spit and as they were recording i was busy writing so it was just it came yeah sometimes it depends on the beat so uh, as you hear it so it, it gives you it motivates you so words just come easy like as the beats they keep you sleeping yeah 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 but <laughs> is it ever not, you, not is so it much you to them and be like hey man i've, I've written this uh, is there a beat for this what or do you just always go by the beat and feel you know what it is that you're feeling and let it out mostly i copy the beat mostly yeah. so if the beat is sad then hey sad song <laughs> sometimes you, you just get you can hear a beat then you tell me the concept okay mm. so i'll write according to what you want okay yeah. i love okay. it i uh, we cannot deny that you are one of the most popular um, bands in cape town so abantu abanaziyo and they favor um, your music what can they look forward to what's the next project looking oh, like yeah okay. we um working with ed harris on some songs okay with master d um 
we're looking to work with the artists from Devon that I can't mention and mm. right now. Um, we might drop an EP. We might. We might. Okay. If if uh, if we, we allow ourselves <laughs> to, <laughs> do to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a lot of songs we want to drop music, and uh, we we actually want to be on a lot of events and host events. So, yeah. so what's holding the, the EP months. back? What's holding the EP it's, back? It's just the thing of you know we 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 are firm firm believers in dropping something and making sure that it, it impacts okay. yeah. where we want it. Must to. go to where so we want. So if to if if the build up. Uh, you know, says, hey, yo, it's time. But you isn't know, isn't the so. isn't the concept of an EP for people to kind of feel you and, and and let them know, look, this is what we're about, and this is what we will be dropping next or something like that. I don't think in this digital age no. that 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 allows that strategy that doesn't people are uh, people want things now, so it's now now. So it with, needs to with, be hot as yeah, it comes. Yeah. With dropping singles, that's how you attract them, okay. so that you can drop the the EP. Okay. Even 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 with singles though, if 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 you check like in the game, most of the people what they do is before they drop the song, there's uh-huh. always some sort of controversy yes. Like, on, like yes. in their lives. Yes. They building that's the build up to the song. Okay. You know what I mean? So even a single, so even a P E P you can basically do the same thing. Okay. You know, push it with the single, and then you drop it when you see. Oh okay. Where's yeah. your plans? What are they? Uh, still dropping some few singles mm-hmm. yes wonderful so before they perform Riza, i understand that there's a, m- a new movie that dj black coffee is um, executive producing yes he's actually the executive executive producer of my twitter twi. and um it's a movie that i've actually checked out the trailer and i'm super excited to watch it as well and i'm sure you guys will be excited too because um it's a coming of age adventure following lefa and papi who are actually best friends and recent high school graduates. Now, on the biggest hustle of their young lives, um, they are on the course of an action-packed um, New Year's Eve in the iconic township of Artridgeville. And the boys actually try to pull off a huge deal. Um, they dodge a kingpin gangster and his violent members, try to get the girl, and obviously the ultimate one is try and save their own lives. It's action-packed. There's some comedy in there. It's it's basically anything that you would love in a movie. Check it out. Local is lekker. Congratulations, <laughs> Ah, 
That was big, big fun. fun. And the um, latest single, check it out. Yes, 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 do check it out. However, in the studio, we have the awesome Chris Saul. Very awesome indeed. Yes. Um, I've seen some of his artwork, and because I first thought it's I heard artists, I'm like painter, you know, with paint and paintbrush. No, 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 no. This underfoot, uh, this is materials yes. and things that <laughs> you can't even imagine can actually become art. Um, and he's actually the winner of the PPC Imagine... Imaginarium. Yes, I don't have my matrix certificate <laughs> here. So, <laughs> but yeah, we're here to speak to him and find out exactly what it is that he does and where you can actually find some of his artwork as well. Chris, so welcome to it, man. How are you doing? Good to be here, guys. Thanks. I'm well. Awesome. Um, I want to know how has everything started for, for you? You said that you have a couple of siblings. One's a teacher, one is a chef. You're an artist. Where has the passion come from? How has everything started for you? Sure, I think it was uh, a very organic process. Okay. Growing up, uh, I had a knack for drawing, you know, my I would uh, do things for family members, and mm -hmm. I think I just received a lot of praise for it over the years. But mm -hmm. to be honest, I had my sights set on being a professional sportsman. Seriously? You know, that was my passion when okay. I was a kid. So soccer was my love. Yeah. Really? Basketball came in a bit later. But um, it was after I finished my trick, uh, I took a year off and did a bit of work abroad okay. and traveled. And I really started to think that, you know, maybe something that I was good at could become something I could be great at. Of course. And, no. and art was really that for me of at the course. time. Now, so, um, we, Chris, I beg your pardon, Mr. Saul, <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, That's uh, my dad, bro. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you do mix concrete and toothpicks. Yeah, and a number of other materials And as a well. number of other materials sure. to create such beautiful art pieces. Of course. Now, tell me, 
And with this art piece, is uh, is this too thick? What, what what is this? Yeah. So this this particular work came out of a, a full body of work that I was working on for a while. Mm. Uh, I'd started to use toothpicks uh, as a medium, uh, putting them all together, and what happens is the texture starts to become, uh, it starts to appear soft. Yeah. It becomes so warm and inviting, and yeah. you can't even believe that it's made up of toothpicks. Mm. And there was this moment in the studio where I was combining concrete and toothpicks in this one piece, yeah. and a bit of concrete broke off. It was a complete accident. Okay. And I looked at the back of it, and there was this incredible texture okay. where the toothpicks mm. had left their mark. And so I decided to try and make these pieces. So this is what you see in front of you is concrete poured over toothpicks okay. and then lifted off. So it's really the negative of that. Okay. In my other works, you've got this warmth and the softness and yeah. it's inviting. Yes. And here it's really cold, it's hard, yes. it's the absence of. Of course. Wait, so, so you didn't put toothpicks and then you poured um, concrete. concrete over. It's more of the one end was toothpicks, the other end was concrete then mm. and then that came out of the yeah definitely oh, right. definitely wow. so this is the negative space and i've worked with concrete in a in a way that i try and use it to comment on our urban existence uh -huh. you know we live in cities now we're not used to well you cape Tonians are a bit <laughs> different but you guys have an outdoor lifestyle much more than in johannesburg yeah. do. so concrete is more our natural uh, habitat so mm. how do i use concrete that material to speak about of the course. landscape we live of in course. now mm. and how does um such a design actually how long does it take what's the process like because sure. obviously you don't just pour the concrete and then the next yeah, thing sure. is, yeah. <laughs> What's the process like, man? Yeah, a lot of trial and error, getting it to this point, you know. Mm -hmm. There were a few pieces that you don't see. Okay. That, uh, but this one was one on exhibition. But yeah, it took a, it took a while. First, I have to prepare the toothpicks, work mm -hmm. with them the way I want. And then uh, the concrete gets added after, and then there's the process of removing mm -hmm. it. And I'm fortunate, you know, a lot of artists work by themselves in their yeah. studios. It's very lonely. Of course. I get the privilege of collaborating with people. Okay, so a, com okay. a couple of people from PPC and uh, from different companies who specialize in this sort of uh -huh. material really gave me great advice. Now, um, you did this piece specifically for PPC, right? No, this piece came for the Cape Town Art Fair. Okay, but last week, which happened last week, yeah? Yes, All yes. Right. So, mm -hmm. Investor Cape Town Art Fair kicked off here in Cape Town. Crazy. It was amazing. <laughs> we had so many people come through and such a, a vibrant energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I was amazingly the recipient of the PPC Imaginarium Award last year in March. Uh -huh. And it's been a, a roller coaster since then, but that really was an important moment in my young career. Of course. I just graduated a few months before. Of course. And they, they really opened the door for me in my career of in course. that moment. And what does that moment actually mean um, for young artists um, like you? I mean, you win the award, obviously, it's not just woohoo, and then you walk. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Does it make you feel, look, um, I'm actually moving forward, I'm mm. actually growing, um, mm. getting better at this as well? What does such mm. a moment mean in your career? Well, for me, initially, as a like a young artist who just finished being a student, mm -hmm. it made me realize that that there's a space for what I do. Of course, you know mm. that. Wait mm -hmm. a second, a whole institution can put their support behind of one course. piece yeah. of work and behind me as an artist. Of course, really gave me a lot of confidence. But at the same time, it gave me like a, a great sense of responsibility. Yeah. If they're willing to put so much support behind that, that means that they must value what I say. Of course. Mm. Which means that there's potential for what I say to have real significance in our world. Yeah. Mm. So that's a it's a big responsibility. I actually I actually want to jump quickly to Bridget Massinga. Yes. Who nominated you. The beautiful Bridget Massinga. Right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, how did that come about? Okay, I think we had a uh, okay, firstly, she's one of the, the ten people nominate uh, that are that are invited by design in okay. to be nominators mm. for the award mm -hmm. and i had no clue about it i happened to meet her last year she invited me onto a show okay. she did a little segment she loved the work mm. uh, we instagram crush on each other <laughs> okay <then>. okay <laughs> but, uh, hey, imagine <laughs> imagine <laughs> the I was <laughs> just, just the art <laughs> but um but no she's great and then i received the nomination didn't know who put me forward and then found out yeah, about okay. later and uh, I'm nothing but grateful. Of course. And your work has been um, traveling internationally as mm. well. Take us through some of the locations mm. that it's going. So Brussels has been a, a great spot. I have some collectors and some okay. families there that are just showing love. Uh -huh. uh, a little bit of London and okay. uh, Berlin as well seem to be destinations where the work has really found like its space yeah. and its support mm. there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, at, at the moment, I work uh, with a few galleries on that front. Okay. And so it just depends on what projects are popping up and what's happening. Of course. I actually want to go more into your materials that yes. you use. Because it's not only toothpicks that you use, you sure. also use bottle tops. Yes. 
I don't know what made you think of <laughs> taking a bottle top yeah, and yeah. using that, you know, to create something beautiful because yeah. your art pieces are magnificent. Mm, thank you. Uh, how, how did that come about? Actually, you're having a drink with a friend mm. and I'm the one fiddling with the bottle okay. top as we're talking, you know? And eventually, after fiddling with it for so long, I begin to look at it and I begin to consider it. Yes. Not as something that I would normally throw away, but yeah. maybe as something with a potential for more. Mm. And you know, being at Wits, I was walking through Brompton every Wits. day. <laughs> yeah, every day. And then, yeah, every now and then I'd be caught with this glint of gold in the corner of my eye. Yeah. Yeah. And it was just the sun reflecting off bottle tops yeah. that we know are lying on the streets outside yes. taverns, shabins. Yes. And I really began to find that quite significant, you know, maybe that's telling me something about Egoli, the city mm, of gold, yeah. that the only gold I see on the streets are these bottle tops which are discarded. So the question for me was then, how do I take something that is not cared about, something that's ignored, and give it significance and give it value? Of course. And mm. hopefully get people to rethink the very act of giving value to of things course. in society. Mm. Of course. Mm. For the viewers at home are thinking, man, I want to see more of these things and see more of your work, where can they go? Is there a okay. website, are there social media okay. platforms? How can they find you? Instagram is a good place to start. Okay, okay. You know? yeah. he, he's been crushing it so <laughs> <laughs> So what's your handles? Yeah, uh, oh, it's a long one. I don't even know it off my heart. It's like at Chris underscore soul underscore dot PDA yep. dot MP4 yep. Yep. dot yep. JPEG yep. something. Oh, well, that's so Instagram. I'm kind of spoofing. You know how people say dot JPEG dot uh, yes. or whatever. I'm kind of spoofing that. But that's one platform. My website's another. Mm -hmm. And then I'm always popping up at exhibitions cool. and art fairs around the country. All so. right. Cool. Thank you so much for your time, of course, Chris. Um, and all the best, man. Yes, Thank all you the guys. best. I really am inspired. I'm sure the viewers at home are inspired as well. Right about now, we're going to check out what Abby actually did at the Skin Deep oh, yeah. exhibition with Say Say, who's actually visually impaired, and he wants to change the perception of how people see beauty. Check this out. Here at Gallery 111 on Loop Street to check out Say Say's new exhibition, Skin Deep, where he challenges the perception of beauty. Let's go in and check it out. Where exactly did the name Skin Deep come from and what in what encouraged you to do something like that? Uh, Skin Deep is actually um, a result out of the work. The work was there before and then I looked at it and, and uh, just tried to find out what is the work really about, what, what are the words that can describe uh, the artwork and it's actually Skin Deep because when you see all the pictures then you, you feel a lot. So what exactly does the picture behind us mean and how did you come up with it? Yeah, actually, this picture that is me and uh, when I take off the glasses, you, you might see it. I put myself in this position. So yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, everybody I also got a dark side in me. And um, when you look at that, I mean, it gives you kind of a feeling what my dark side is. What inspired you to paint something like this? It's actually not a painting, it is a photography which I took and uh, those uh, pictures been modified and uh, with art art uh, um, artificial intelligence and uh, so the moment they actually expresses the inner side of, uh, of human, I would say, souls so then I just captured it and uh, that is what we can see here. We can actually see the darker side of Psyche. So this is the first piece that came out of the entire exhibit. So what inspired this and what does it mean? Um, the original picture is actually a mannequin without any face and it had just one eyelash. And when you see it, that is the eyelash and there's no, no face. There's actually no face. It's, it's quite abstract, but it has a very strong expression of, of, of a human being in the inner side. And, um, you know, I cannot see three dimensional. So for me, uh, it has no depth. But people say it's outstanding, and others say it's just falling into the darker side of the of the depths. How 
how do you decide, like, I only want to include a close-up, or I want to include, like, how do you decide what's in the picture? Um, those pictures, um, they were original pictures, and the original pictures are uh, mannequin faces. This, these are all mannequin faces except me. That's, that's me. And uh, they have an, a complete normal um, look like, you know, they are not looking like this. And, uh, and as I worked through it, and, and by the way, they, they've been in, in, in my previous exhibition, which was called uh, the Intimate Loneliness, Sex with Things, uh, which were in Stellenbosch, the guest gallery, uh, a week before. And so there you could actually see the original pictures. And um, that is actually, uh, let's say, the next step that is my, my artist's journey to show the distortion um, when reality gets distorted. And it comes out of loneliness. You know, when you feel lonely, um, you feel sick and you feel depressed. And um, you actually express in your face this de depression, this um, aggressivity. And um, that is what you can see here in those pictures. So, in your previous exhibit, the original pictures were portrayed. In this exhibit, it's your interpretation, the dark side of it. And then you mentioned that the next one is titled Me. So, does each exhibition kind of lead to the next one? Yeah, they are uh, somehow all connected. Uh, it starts actually with uh, fake perfection, uh, where we see the mannequins expressing beauty. I mean, a kind of standard uh, clean and lean stuff, but it's all superficial, you know. And that is how our life is. Uh, we usually connect with new people on a superficial level and hope to get deeper into it, to connect with our emotions and heart. And there you have it. Artist Seisei just explained to us what each of these pieces mean to him. Come on down till March 9th to check it out for yourselves. I'm Abby for XA. <laughs>Latest. Ah, you take me all the way till 5 p.m. Rizal the sheriff from Sia is in the oh, building yeah. as well. And we have amazing things for you. We're dishing entertainment, education, alles. Music. But malus. What what noch will you hear? I mean, you know. You know what I'm saying? We well, are sitting yeah. with the first community resource center there all the way from Hanover Park. And they are specializing and focusing um, actually on abuse, gang violence, crime, and they are actually having a little production taking place at the Artscape as well, where they actually tackle these issues via a fairy tale story. And the production is actually called Not Just Another Fairy Tale Story, am I correct? Tammy and Craven is here to tell us more about everything. How are you guys doing? Hello, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Um, I want to know more about the first community resource center. Where has it all started? I'm sure Craven, you didn't just wake up and be like, ah, Salute, we're going to start right. this thing today. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying, so how has everything actually come about? 
Yeah, I think it came about me being placed in an Oval Park mm -hmm. as one of the ministers there. Okay. And I look at the dire state of the area, gang violence, poverty, you know, people just hopeless in the area. And yes. I decided, besides having church and clapping hands, you know, yes. taking money from people, why not start a development center exactly. to redirect the people and to sort of look at the issues in the area yeah. and to tackle it like head on, you know. Yeah. And hence we decided to start up with this development center, okay. the resource center. It's a fully operational project there. It's got internet cafe, okay. job readiness. It's got about a feeding scheme running there. Okay. It's got a program for seniors there. It's got a gang intervention station yeah. there. It's got a, a job desk there that you can just come. Okay. And any help wow. you need, you come to the resource center. You know? There's commissioners sitting there, mission of Oath helping out. We're feeding the clinics in the area. So yeah. it's, it's busy. Wow. It's also have a, its own halfway house. Okay. If you're on substance and stuff like that, uh -huh. and really, messed up, don't know where to go, yeah. and all the big places charging a lot of I money. That, You'll just come to us and we can channel it to our own halfway house. Yeah. I love like that. a wraparound service at the resource center. But basically it's also just a church in the front building. Okay. Back building is the NPC that addresses all the issues of the yeah. community. Yeah. I love it. Wow. I actually want to go more uh, in, in depth with the actual um, resource center. I mean, there is ev uh, you've named it all. Almost every <laughs> <That's laughs> you've named it yeah. <laughs> it's all. Now, anyone and everyone are welcome to come in, right? Anyone, that's open. And um, you actually have one of your upcoming projects, um, which is in the theater, um, yeah. the Artscape. Now, did you use those sort of individuals who came to ask for help there um, in, your, in, your, in your production coming up? Yeah, that's correct. Maybe Temi can answer that of because course, okay. she, she does the prevention programs okay. and she's there to like uh, sort of, you know, look at young people yes. that are also derailed, hopeless, yes. or not finding their yes. path. And then she must keep them busy. Her job is to prevent them of entering okay. into gangsterism and drugs. And I, I, get, I get you out, yes. but she must prevent you of getting there. Of course. There. So and that program is called, if I'm not mistaken, the ceasefire program. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm that's running, the ceasefire ceasefire program. Okay. Program. Okay. But she right. does the prevention program. Yeah. Okay, tell mm -hmm. us about that. Okay, so um, I am doing the youth program. Uh -huh. I'm actually working in the youth. So all of the youth that are part of this program, mm -hmm. none of you are shy saying like, Seriously, okay. So they come there and they just bored and you know, <laughs> what do we do? Yes. So they join the dance and drama group mm -hmm. and um, we've been busy for the last 10 years. We've been oh doing ten years. Yes. yes. And um, we were granted this wonderful opportunity to go and do a co-production with the army. Okay. And it's not at the theater, it's at the opera house. Wow. Okay. So wow. Yes, right, Ricky? <laughs> Up so, yeah. house. Up house. Up So um, this has been a wonderful opportunity for kids from the streets of Hanover Park mm -hmm. to the greatest wow. stage of the Of course, history. of course. And I'm just so privileged and honored that we could have just the pathway, you know, because we don't we don't give them the of chance course. to walk into the streets of the room. Mm. If they come here, they come here raw, but when they on stage you'll never know. Of course. They don't yeah. Are you allowed to kind of tell us what this, the, 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 the theatre show is about? Okay, so um, the theatre show is about um, the young girl, mm -hmm. Cinderella, you know, the typical young yes. girl. <laughs> yes. So she gives her heart away to okay. the prince. Mm -hmm. Because obviously okay. he's going to fix everything for her. Mm. Um, and then it doesn't work out like that. Okay. So the prince breaks her heart. Oh my word. And um, then she goes out into the woods and she's looking for an uh, answer, she's looking for help, and he sends her off to the different characters that are in the program. Yes. Mm. Who is Mary and her little lamb, yes. uh, Mother Hubbard, um, and who else is there? Who else is there? Yeah, so, so it, it, it displays all the different issues within, within the area or in the yes. community that you go through. So she, she, she gets to uh, uh, like a demon type of guy mm -hmm. that directs you the wrong way. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then she gets to uh, uh, f the first segment. It's like, like Mary had a little lamb. Mm -hmm. yes. And Mary had all these issues of abortion, HIV, mm -hmm. and all this derailment she suffered. I, 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 and I she's like coming that. for help to yeah. Mary mm -hmm. uh, yeah. with the broken heart. Mm -hmm. But Mary needs help herself. Yeah. So, and wow. then she goes to the next character in the woods 
which mm. is Jack and Jill, the two of them. Yeah. But then they've got domestic violence yeah. issues there. Mm. And Jack is abusing Jill, come down the hill so with the pail of water things. and what, what. Mm. And Ella Buckley. So, so then, then she finds out they also don't have a solution. Yes. And she goes to Mother Hubbard, gets to Mother Hubbard. There's no food in the cupboard. Yeah. And you know, there's issues with children not wanting to help this Real old life. lady with food Real and Pinocchio issues. comes in. Yes. So, yeah, so it's a whole... It tackles uh, everything. Yeah, it tackles about just everything. Yeah. I, I, I actually want to feel also, it's basically a workshop theatre where everyone comes together, they all plan a story because I can imagine that um, you guys have also written this beautiful story. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes, and I mean, it, it, it affects the, um, the situations and the problems that affect Ilovo. Now, now... Um, it, it is workshopped, uh, am I right, Tammy? Yeah, so... Because I just want to just, I just, mm. just delve more into um, how you guys came about and how yes. you guys constructed the entire story. Yeah. Okay, so the kids so obviously the writers, come for... Yeah. Directors, yeah. So, um, is, so I wrote the story. Okay. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. Yes. 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 So Tammy from the hoods. Yeah, oh, yes. from the block. Hey. <laughs> okay. Hey, not <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, it was written by myself, uh -huh. and obviously there was people on board helping. Yes. Um, I also had some theatre people assisting, okay. you know, with the things that need to obviously be mm. in order, and because I also don't have theatre yes. training, yes. so yeah. obviously yeah. we needed that help coming in. Um, but so yeah, the kids come every week. They come to classes yeah. uh, to be trained oh. in dance and because drama. Acting classes. Yeah, so they come Am on I a Tuesday. Yeah. No, you're not part of the Sorry. Okay, fine, I try. Okay. So yeah, they come on a Tuesday and a Thursday after school mm -hmm. and they can come for, for their training classes. Okay. Um, the actors are not only from Enova Park, so when they heard about the show, they obviously came from everywhere. Of course. So we've got people from Delft and West Bank. Mm. Okay. So which means I can go. Yeah. Probably, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Mitchell's play. For Stan J. Yeah, yeah, so it's from all I over. I want to know, um, <laughs> when the production obviously does take place and the people coming and they're watching this play put together by Tammy herself, Kevin, what is it that the ultimate goal of the production? Do you want people to take away just only a message, or is it for people to realize, hey, I can actually assist these people, get along with the program, get into the program, or is it for sponsors that you guys are looking? What's the ultimate goal of the production? I think the ultimate goal, basically, is to shift the paradigm mm -hmm. of the community of Nova Park, Menenberg, and Lavendale, and Peggy Crow, all those people, yes. to just show them that we are worthy of a stage like that, and mm, we can get out of there. Course. Nice. And then the storyline is to also show them that any derailment, there's hope at the end of the of tunnel. Course. So they don't need to give up in the middle of it all. Mm. And on the end of it, we want people to see that we are worthy of funding our projects mm. as well. So it's, it's got a, a, like a triple type yes. of story running here. So we, we want course. the kids to so be seen. Yeah. We want the story to be told. Mm. We want people to notice that, look, there is talent in the areas. And when people talk about the Nova Park, the only thing you was drugs and gangs. Yeah. Yes. The next thing I want, I want to destigmatize that. Yes. People must now talk about artscape and the university yes. when they talk about so we'll change the perception i kind of have to <laughs> that thank you so much though for joining us thank you timey thank you craven um as you heard uh do follow them show up when they are um showcasing at the opera house that is the opera house all right let's quickly go check out um cool this music video. next music video That was DJ Maporisa Lindo, the legacy with the Tando. What a beautiful track over there. We love it. Do you love it as well? Hit us up on Facebook. It's XA on Cape Town TV as well as on Twitter. It's XA underscore live. Other things that you can do on our social media is to vote for your favorite finalists as presenters using the hashtag, hashtag XA. My vote is this one comes from Keanu Sanders saying, hashtag XA. My vote is Amy Mayer. Um, King Rebel saying, loving Amy Mayer, you should make her a permanent presenter, so beautiful and inspirational. As you remember, Amy was here guest presenter yesterday. Um, Monique Tangren says, well done, and it's also good to take in, in, uh, into account that it's for everybody and something the entire family can do, which is a bonus. She's talking about the Iwasa um, Walk of Endurance. Gretchen Tangren says, I'm so happy for the opportunity has given us as endurance walking to expose this sport on television thank you more i hope more and more people will come and are aware of 
our spot. Zaki Chipulu says, XA hashtag my vote is Kukamba Sultane. Cause if you're watching throughout the show, Uzoyaz Keba Kukona. If you want to vote for him, it's hashtag XA. My vote is vote for him right now so that he can become one of the team. Of course, man, that's what you have to do. Go onto our social media platforms, vote for your favorite as well. And you can see your favorite face alongside myself, Lama, and all the other current XA presenters. They'll be joining the team as well. Man, we are wrapping up the show. We had an amazing time. Thanks so much to all the guests who came through today and thank you so much to you the viewers and the adopted cousins as well thank you my name is our folks the sheriff and i'm not riding solo they are here with me as well <laughs> thank you so much for welcoming us in your four corners do not forget to vote do not forget to follow us we'll be back again tomorrow same time same place thank you thank you Thank you, Cape Town Lama. Yes, if you just joined us, ah, well, but tomorrow, again, we do it between 7 and 8, that is the repeat between 4 and 5. We bring you everything science on the live show between 4 and 5. Q is going to be here gunning for your vote, so the make girl. sure that you the come girl through. Q. And what? Yes, and hey, the show. Do you vote for her as well? That's about right. Are you saying that? Definitely. Okay. Vote for Q. Here's the sport. Vote for Sia. We are out of here. Yes. Thank you so much. We love you, Cape Town. We love you, Mwah. Zanzi. Everything, Mwah. everything but love. We are. Seriously. <laughs>